Hey guys, so for today's video, I've got the brand new for 2022 Jimmy Airborne Inflatable 20 foot tall Jack o' Lantern stack being sold exclusively at your at home store this year for $189.99. Now, I bought this three days ago, Friday the 26th. As you can see, it's got your traditional air blown inflatable box. I made sure to get mine in pristine condition. Out of the nine or so that they had left, this one did look the best. So I wanted to be sure I snagged it. Now, as we look at the back of the box, it's very, very large compared to a full grown man. It looks as though the bottom pumpkin is roughly six feet tall, I would say. And Josh said that it was probably seven feet wide. I thought it would be a little bit wider just based off the renderings. It looked wider than what the final product was, but those at home renderings did look really bad. So I couldn't really provide a whole lot of accuracy with that. Now, as we look, the 189.99 barcode is at the back this time. I thought it would be at the front, but no, it's at the back. 2022 Jimmy Industries right there just to get the camera to focus a little bit. And that's really all I have to say about this guy. I'm super excited to unbox the largest Jimmy Halloween inflatable ever. So let's go ahead and get to it. Now a change in location was unfortunately required. I am back in my side yard. I am not filming in the neighbor's yard. And the reason behind that is because a family member requested me I film over here because that yard over there is currently empty. No one is living there, right? So it's a great place to film inflatables. It's super flat. It's very green, like the grass is in immaculate shape. Mine, not so much. The side yard is fine. I just, I don't know. I wanted to have, I guess, a bigger yard to film a 20 foot inflatable. And it was fine with Haunted House. They're having problems with it today, so I'm just gonna do what they ask. Man, they're heavy. Four mega colossal black stakes there. Your really, really puny metal stakes for the base, which will not suffice. And then it looks as though two spiral stakes right there. So a very heavy stake pack. And as we take the inflatable out of the box, yeah, that worked out pretty nice. It has a YEF 80 fan. Really should have a 125 for any 20 footer. A YEF 125 should be the minimum, but it's not. We have not reached that yet. Now there's a zipper right next to the fan. I don't know if there are any other zippers for this thing. There might not be, there might only be one, but we will see that later in the review. So let's go ahead and inflate it. gargantuan standing a staggering 20 feet this officially raises the bar for jimmy halloween inflatables i would say that it's not the biggest halloween inflatable of all time i still think i'd give that to the 17 foot haunted house or perhaps the cemetery arch but no doubt it is the tallest you can't take that away from it the yf80 takes it about three to three and a half minutes for it to inflate it also doesn't inflate very well it doesn't have colossal or boom bounce fabric, so that's hurting it a bit along with the fan. I'm hoping that the $189.99 price tag resulted in the fact that the fan is not a YF-125 and that the Christmas 20-footers will all be equipped with the 125. However, I think that's very unlikely and it's just inflation. Now, as we look at the back, you can see the zipper. This is the second zipper and I'd say it's about two feet long or so. You also have two tether attachments. Let me move here so the sun is not in the way. All right, so right there, you've got your second tether attachment to stake it down. Now it has four in total, right? So you've got two at the base for the bottom pumpkin. And for once, you can actually do something with them and they're not up here like the 20 foot nutcracker or something like that. These tethers are actually worth something. I've not staked them down for this review because it's very temporary. It's got a very short stay in my yard. But when I actually stake this thing down for my Halloween display, those will come in quite handy. Being a 20 foot inflatable, you wanna be sure you have this thing staked down as well as possible. The Colossal tethers help with that, especially with the thicker tether that they have for this. I like it. The only thing I don't like about it is the fact that you actually have to tie them. They made this change quite recently, not this year, but it is a change that has been within the last couple years or so. It used to be you could hook it on to this little hook right there and it was very easy. Now you must tie these on like any other inflatable with regular stakes. I don't like that at all 
because if I weren't in the side yard right now, if I were over where I was going to originally film this, I would have used that little clip and it would have been so much easier. These also can come undone much easier than if I use the, uh, the skinnier tethers. So I will probably have to triple tie this or become like a boy scout and like know how to actually do knots. It does have different faces throughout the pumpkin stack. It'd be really bad if it didn't. Now the bottom pumpkin and the top pumpkin are very, very similar. My favorite I think is the second one. It really looks good. It's got your traditional jack-o'-lantern face. The bottom pumpkin is my least favorite. I, I don't like it. And then the top and the third really just are, are there. Like I have no opinion on them whatsoever. The bottom one is though, is definitely my least favorite. As I step back, you can see just how big it is like compared to my forerunner i mean it dwarfs it it is huge i highly recommend getting it for the 189 price tag it's worth it they will sell fast i don't know how fast they will sell but if you want to wait until the 25 or 50 or 75 percent off sale you're gambling a little bit i most likely will go and get a second one of these not so much to just hold on to but i'm contemplating actually setting up two of these in this year's display you guys don't know where they're going trust me it won't look junky i am determined to never make a display in my lifetime look junky because that's just crap i want it to be you know mesmerizing blow people away and getting two of these that's one way to do it for sure now thank you guys so much for watching this review i hope you enjoyed i hope it was helpful and i'll see you next time peace out bye